Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today I will be bringing to you another one of Vince Durand's very special exercises, the seated lateral raise. Now this exercise is certainly not what we would call forgotten. Um, everybody knows about the lateral raise and this is simply done on a bench which is pretty common nowadays but you have to think. Vince Toronto wrote his book, Unleashing the Wild Physique, in the 1970s, the early 1970s, and had been practicing this, practicing this exercise uh, very early on, in the 1950s even. And you have to understand that at that time, presses were the common shoulder exercise to press a barbell overhead. For the most part, Vince Deronda was against presses. Now, he, he did have the front-to-back press and a couple other uh, pressing variations for the shoulders, but generally, he did not believe in heavy barbell presses to develop the deltoids. He was more of a fan of raises, and I think, being an old-school aficionado that I am, I like both, and I do both, but his take is certainly interesting, and it's definitely worth noting. So in this video, I will be, uh, of course, demonstrating this exercise for you, uh, but before that, I will be giving you a brief description of it and explanation, and also telling you where you can find it. If you have any questions about this video or anything at all, uh, also if you have any future video ideas, uh, do leave them in the comment section below, and I hope you all enjoy this video. So let us go over what the Vince Gironda seated lateral raise is and why would you ever want to perform it. Well, first of all, this exercise can be found in Vince Gironda's masterpiece, Unleashing the Wild Physique, which I regard as possibly the greatest bodybuilding book ever. It has everything you need from exercises to diet to uh, sleep schedules, everything. The primary focus of this particular exercise is to develop the medial deltoid. That's the middle deltoid or the side deltoid to give you a broader look from the front. You want to begin this exercise by sitting on a, the edge of a flat bench and grasping a pair of light dumbbells under your legs. Make sure to lean slightly forward and tuck your chin to your chest throughout the entire movement. That's kind of where it deviates from more modern variations. After this, you will begin slowly raising the dumbbells up to head height while simultaneously lifting the chest slightly. But it's important that you do not swing the bells into position. So do not use your momentum to bring them up. Instead, get a slight, you, you want to keep this very rhythmic, the motion very rhythmic. An interesting point actually made in Unleashing the Wild Physique is that there are two approved methods by Vince. The first is to keep the dumbbells level throughout so that the front and back bell on the dumbbell are level. They're on the same plane. But the other one is far more interesting. The second variation is to pour the water from the top. And this is a term that actually Larry Scott coined. And it's where you actually uh, get, so th get the dumbbells so that the front bell actually lowers. So the front portion of the bell lowers. And that will be what I'm demonstrating today. Whenever I do side lateral raises or Larry Scott raises, that is always how I perform it. I pour the water so my pinky goes higher and the front of my hand dips down. Uh, you'll be able to see it when I show you the demonstration. Uh, I mentioned, of course, this variation was popularized by Larry Scott. He actually did this variation. And of course, once you're at the top, bring the dumbbells down slowly, rinse and repeat until your set is done. So in the next following slide, I will demonstrate this exercise for you. Okay, and this is Vince Gironda's seated lateral raise. As you can see, I start with the bells underneath my body. My chin is tucked to my chest, and I am lifting my chest only slightly while I bring the bells up. You can also see that when I get to the top, my pinkies are higher than my index finger, so I have tilted the bells down. And this allows for a better contraction in the side deltoids, and it definitely does. You can feel it immediately. And that's really all there is to it. There, this is not a very complex exercise, but it is extremely effective. And these little tips, these little pointers that Vince Gironda gives you in his book, just really makes these exercises stand out and gives them a little bit of a flair that you just know this is a Vince Gironda exercise because of these little tips. 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a short one today. Just wanted to get through it and show you an exercise you may or may not know, but that I would definitely recommend. This is one of my favorites. I do this almost every day that I train shoulders. And of course, it's very effective, feels nice, gets an incredible burn, and it helped guys like Larry Scott and Don Howarth develop their shoulders. So if it can work for them, it definitely can work for you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.